In this demonstration, I'll show you how to successfully round numbers with significant digits. To be successful at rounding, make sure you know the rules for counting significant figures, and I do have a video dedicated for that. Let's discuss the first rule to rounding. If the first digit dropped is 4 or less, the last kept digit must remain the same. Here's what I mean. Let's say that the number is 0 0.08245, and we are rounding it to two significant digits. Now we know that this number in total has four significant digits. Now to two significant digits, it would go up to here. And everything else would be discarded. So the first rule says that if the first digit dropped, and the first digit being dropped is a four, and if it's four or less, the last kept digit, which is this two, must remain the same. So our final answer becomes 0 0.082. Let's try the next one. Round 4.4035 to three significant digits. Now in our case, three significant figures would be 4.40. And everything afterwards, all of this stuff would be discarded. Now since three, this digit, is four or less, then the last kept digit, which was the zero, remains the same. What I like to tell my students is that the rules that you learned about rounding back in elementary school will stick even to this day, except for one big difference, which will be discussed in the next rule. The next rule says that if the first digit dropped is five or more, the last kept digit goes up by one. Now that's something that we're all familiar with, except for this next part. However, if the last kept digit is even, and it's followed by a five and only a five, the last kept number remains the same. Here's what I mean. Let's take, for example, the number 24.45, and we want to round this to three significant figures. So everything after this second four will go away. Now, according to the rule, it says that if this number is even, and it's a five followed by nothing, then this number doesn't go up. It actually stays the way it is, 24.4. What about the next one? round 24.35 to three digits. So this time, this number is odd, and the number that's being discarded is a five. The number after that five is a zero. So that means this number, given that it's odd, will go up to 24.4. Interesting, let's try one more. Round 24.451 to three significant digits. This time, the 5 and the 1 will be discarded. Now because there's a 1 after the 5 and it's not a 0, then you're going to follow the normal rules. The rule says that if the first digit dropped is 5 or more, you go up by 1. So you end up with 24.5. This goes up. Let's do some questions. The first question reads, round 34.5736 to three significant figures. Three significant figures would lead up to here, and everything after that five, such as the seven, three, and six, will go away. Now, since the first discarded digit, that seven, is greater than five, the first kept digit, the five, will go up by one. So you end up with 34.6. And lastly, the question reads, round 3.0025 to four significant figures. Four significant figures would lead up to this two. And the first discarded digit is a five, and that number is a two, and given that this five has nothing after it, that even number means that your answer will remain at 3.002. So there you have it. That is how to round numbers properly given the correct number of significant digits. You will need to know this skill to master the next part where we learn how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide significant figures. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.